Hey everyone, this lesson we're going to talk about pronation and supination of the hand along with radial and ulnar deviation. So what is supination of the hand? So supination is when we actually rotate our hand like this. And an easy way you can remember supination of the hand is by thinking of holding a soup. So you can't hold a soup like this, but you can hold a soup like this. So this is supination of the hand. The opposite of that is pronation. So pronation of the hand is when we put our palm down. So pronation, palm down, supination, we're going to hold a bowl of soup, that is supination. So for radial and ulnar deviation, we got to think about the position or location of the radius and ulna. So to remember where the radius is, you can think of the radius being on the side of the thumb. So you can think the radius radiates out the thumb. And the other side is the ulna, and you can think that it's on the side of the fifth digit, the pinky. So radial deviation is when we actually deviate our hand toward the radius, so in like a position like this. And then ulnar deviation is when we do the opposite, when we deviate toward the ulna. So that is radial and ulnar deviation. So again, to review, to recap what we learned in this lesson, supination of the hand, remembered by supination soup, we can hold a bowl of soup like this, pronation, palm down, so supination, pronation, radial deviation, so you're going toward the radius, and ulnar deviation, you're going toward the ulna. So that is what we learned in this lesson. I hope you found this lesson helpful. If you did, please like and subscribe, click the notification bell for more lessons like this one. And as always, thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you next time.